My name is Ted Strunk, and I've been a teacher at Upland Hills for about 22 years. My first year as a teacher with the oldest group, I was a little fearful about being in a room with all of those middle school kids. So I tried to come up with an idea uh, for them, a project that would get them outside most of the time and wear them out. And so uh, I came up with this idea about building a bridge. Um, there's a, about a 200 foot glacial moraine right behind our school that leads to another building on our campus. And I thought that would be a uh, great place to build a bridge. So I asked Phil if, uh, if we could do that and he said sure, but there's no money. It seemed to be an almost impossible thing to make a bridge that was 145 feet long in its span and uh, was going to be made for a budget of almost zero. <laughs> it had to have engineering behind it so that it would be a safe structure. We thought of uh, different materials that we could salvage and use and came up with utility poles. Old utility poles that were no longer being used in the field and old cross ties for Detroit Edison that had replaced it with uh, plastic or other synthetic materials. So we found materials that were really being warehoused or stored that weren't being employed. We found that in our own parent group, we had a grandfather who had been worked for Detroit Edison and knew how to plant those poles. And he actually knew where that equipment was stored because nobody had thrown it away. And he asked if he could borrow it. And so it was great. We had another generation come back, teach us how to plant huge telephone poles manually without having the giant augers and all of the cranes and all of the things that people have. Um, every morning we would gather and figure out how we were going to overcome that day's challenges and it was pretty exciting and uh, I, I, I had never been so involved in anything in my life but I was just totally taken over by it and so was my class they worked I couldn't hold them in their seats in the morning uh, they were just so anxious to get out there and, and start to work the kids who became the bridge builders, those classes of 1992 and 1993, succeeded in building a bridge that is an integral part of our school campus. And their names are, are carved large in the first planks of the bridge, and in, in many cases changed everybody in the school. Uh, just the audacity of the project, the scope of the project, and the beauty of the project. It was a great experience in terms of let's do something impossible and see if we can do it. And we did.